Hey guys, what's up? My name's Eric and welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about something very ubiquitous here in the Philippines. I want to talk about jeepneys because it's such a common form of transportation here in the country but there's not a lot you can see about it online. Whenever I have friends coming over, they always ask how to use it, what's it all about, how does it look inside, why is it so popular here, how do you use a jeepney here in the Philippines. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well, it's brand new, so that you can see more useful videos just like this one. Go ahead and follow me and social media as well like Instagram and Facebook because there I post real-time stories about my life and my travels. Alright enough talking let's go. Hey guys good morning so it's gonna be one of those days when we're gonna be traveling around the metro so that means that we're gonna be taking public transportation including jeepneys because if you want to get somewhere you want to take a jeepney once or twice that's how you do it efficiently if not you're gonna have to spend a little bit extra. We start by lining up we're waiting in one of the stops. I guess starting point and end point there's always one like this when it's peak hour you usually have to line up. Our jeepneys just got here so we're gonna get on it now. Another phrase you have to know is bayad. Bayad means like payment. So what you do is you just hand over the money that you're gonna pay. But usually you're not in hands reach of the driver. So if you're far away, you give it to your fellow passenger and your fellow passenger would pass it on until the driver at the front. And the driver then would have to compute how much the fare is and then he's gonna have to return it. And then the other passengers will do the same on the way back. They're gonna get it from the driver until they get to you. Payment this time is still minimum, which is 9 pesos. So that's about 20 cents in dollars. It varies depending on the distance you're going to. If it's further, then you're gonna have to pay a little bit more. And here, you're gonna have to give up a little bit of your personal space because it's a long bench essentially and there's no divisions between people. That's the way that they can keep the costs low. If you are not into like rubbing up against somebody, then jeepneys are not for you because you're gonna have to rub up with somebody 90% of the time unless the jeepney is not full. How does the driver know how much you need to pay? When you pay, when you say buy it, you just tell him where you're going, then he would already know how much to give you as change. And for you to stop, either you knock or you pull the string here that you can see. In some Jeeps, it gives like a signal up front, like a sound. In some other cases, it's just the light that goes up in front. So that's the way they know that somebody wants to get off. Now there's lesser people because they got off in one of the more common spots here. We're on to a further route. Today's a Sunday so you're not going to see a lot of people in GPs not as much as you would see from Monday until Friday. Now you have the luxury of having more leg room for yourself. Another thing you're gonna notice as well is that it's very open so that the air could be in easily. That's like a double-edged sword because when it rains then that's tricky so what they do is that they make use of these makeshift covers like the ones that you see here the plastic ones so they roll that down so that the rain doesn't get in but of course it still gets in somehow especially from the main entrance and exit. It could either be fresh like today because the wind is blowing or it could be horrible especially when it rains because it's gonna be covered with that plastic sheet and it's gonna be super Super hot and damp inside. Oh yeah, in jeepneys they put in music, it's just like in any public transportation. They like older music from the 80s, 90s, 2000s even. They also play some local songs, it's not usually the case. And if they do play a local song, it's gonna be classics as well. Oh yeah, if you want to save some dough, you can go ahead and put your child or somebody small on your lap and that way you don't have to pay the fare for them. But if you pay full price, that means they can't force them to leave their spot and be on your lap because they paid for their own spot. And also if the Jeep is full, some people would prefer to hang on the entrance and that's okay. It's not like against traffic rules. You can choose to do that. You still have to pay full price. There's no discount if you hang on the entrance. So just hang at your own risk.
another day in a GP. Apart from the seats in the back, you can also sit here up front. You're right next to the driver. There's only two people that can sit here. You can tell them right away if you're getting down. It's an easier communication with the driver. And it's a very different view and experience as well. And one thing I've noticed, they don't let kids sit here anymore unlike before. We're in, you know, any age can sit here, but now you can't because I guess it's against the law that the kids might dip themselves in front on the dashboard. Power and this is how a Jeep looks like. Uh, what do people do in such a confined space? A lot of people just while the time by being on their phones, listening to music, sleeping, eating, just like any forms of transportation, I guess. But yeah, people are used to like being close to each other in a Jeep. You want to be economic, right? Another day, another cheap thing. Just like what I said, if you have a child with you and you don't want to pay, you can choose to carry them on your lap and they're not going to charge you anything. By the way, so I'm sitting right close to the driver. When you do that, when you're sitting right close to the driver, you gotta expect that you'll be handing somebody else's fare over to him a lot of times. Like the five minutes I'm sitting here, I've already handed it over for like 10 times. 10 times, give or take. I'm not complaining about anything, it's part of the social contract. When you board the Jeep, you expect to pass on somebody's fare or to pass on somebody's change. So it's all part of how the Jeep works, right? And you gotta know that upon exiting the vehicle, you gotta be ducking because there's no two ways about it. Everybody has to duck. There's no space. There are no established stops for jeepneys and for buses for that matter or most other transportation. There's like stops indicated but they're really suggestions rather than something they have to follow. And don't expect to find any route recommendations in Google Maps or any app like that because what you have to do is if you don't know the route, you either ask your drivers, the people around you. The best direction you can get is to look at the signs in front of the window and that's where they actually tell you where they stop. That's your first clue. After that, I suggest asking the driver to make sure you don't end up taking a Jeep that you don't want to take. How do you stop? The word you have to say is pala, uh, means stop. The jeepney depends on the size. It usually it fits about 20 people, 20 to 25 people depending on the length of it. Another day of taking jeepneys here in Manila. So how do you find them? You go to a terminal, you go to a point where all of them congregate. They have like specific points where they need to be, where they need to collect passengers, where they all amass just like this. You're almost never gonna find it in Google Maps or anything online, so you gotta ask the locals where they are. Uh, otherwise, you're not gonna know where to take them. These are like the end of the lines for them, so they wait a long time. They line up literally so that they can get some passengers. Alright, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you liked it. Let me know what you think. I love reading your comments. I'll get to every single one of them. What do you think about jeepneys then? Are they good? Are they not so good? Are you gonna ride them? Would you prefer not to ride them? Personally, I've been using them all my life, so I'll continue to do so. I know it can be uncomfortable at times. I know it can be inconvenient at times, but you know, I'm already used to it. And hey, if you have the time, it's a cheap way to get around the city. But if you're from here, it's something that you're used to growing up anyway. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell as well so that you can see more useful videos coming at you while you're at it follow along in social media as well like instagram and facebook because there i post real-time stories about my travels and my life and if you learned anything today please like and share this video especially to somebody who doesn't know anything about filipino jeepneys hope to see you in the next video thank you gracias y salamat bye so just like this one where we're holding on and it's moving sometimes quick sometimes slow so you gotta hold on for dear life literally uh, but yeah if you're really in a hurry it's something that you do normally it's something that you see people do normally you'd see like three people four people hanging outside a jeepney that's normal